Hello, YouTube, my lovely people. I uh, want to make a shout out today about, um, you can probably tell by the title of this video, um, Christianity. That's uh, one of my pet peeves, the things I've been thinking most about. It takes up a lot of my thought now. Um, now I, of course, am not into Christianity, it was never, um, brought up like with the Bible or whatever and I think out of all those different religious sects I have all the like Hindus, Muslims, Jews, uh, Shintoists, uh, Hindus, um, all religions, Christians are just they stand out for being annoying or ignorant because they seem to be the only the only religion that really once it forces its opinion on you like you hear about like jehovah's witnesses or people going door to door saying do you or do you want to hear the story of jesus like yeah and, um and at this point like you gotta remember the story of babel the tower of babel um if Christians actually pay attention to their Bible, it'd be, um, you know, the Tower of Babel was about all these different groups from all around the world. They were trying to work together and if everyone learned to communicate and work together, if you incorporated ideas, like maybe you'd finally hear the voice of God or whatever message you're trying to receive or actually like Gnosticism is actually a part of Christianity that most Christians actually probably don't know about. Um, now before I get too into this I want to say I am not an expert on Christianity. I don't know that like with Christians, I haven't talked, I haven't had many, um, long philosophical discussions about what they actually practice and do, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure Jesus' message was just kindness to others, like, so you should get to know people and try to understand them, like, Maybe someone else just has a different interpretation of reality. So they do the Quran or they are polytheistic or Shintoist. They worship nature. And I mean, is it really that different when you're, all these religious people are just tuning into the same frequency of love of nature? Like the Gnosticism, they say love is the law, love under will. So. It's about inclusion. Um, I mean, being polarized is not a good thing. Being so hung up on, like, that's kind of egocentric or racist, like saying, oh, my way of life is better because it's just how I was brought up. And I mean, if you're brought up another way, and I mean, these cultures around the world just sprang up based on the nature around them. and. You know, in some parts of the world that's drier and they have different animals or... I mean, I'm sure in Egypt, the reason they loved, um... Like, birds so much, since there's so much bird imagery. Because, like, what dominates the desert? Like, a bird. It looks to be a savior. Um... And also, FYI, the reason Egyptians loved cats so much was because... They had a big problem with rats. Um, they had rats. Uh, rats would contaminate all their food. And, like, as an Egyptian, you just got done sorting out all your grains or whatever. So, you had stuff to eat during the winter. And then you see this rat crawling everywhere. And it's like, oh no, now it's all contaminated. But the cats, they, they, Get rid of the pests. Uh, and that's why the Catholic Church, Christianity, caused the Black Plague in um, in Europe because they 
That's when Priest wanted to get rid of all the cats because he figured the cats are like the work of the devil or something because they're not eternal or whatever. So he got rid of all the cats, but of course, then the rat population got out of control and all of a sudden, you know, people started dying from the plague. But I guess the plague was kind of a good thing to happen because fewer people means more resources that allowed the Renaissance to take hold and for people to get out of the dark ages. So, but Christianity caused that whole scientific depression of medieval times. Anyway, so I feel like it's the interpretation mostly of the Bible. It's, I mean, I'm pretty sure if Jesus was alive today, he'd be a vegan, like, because back then it definitely wasn't, it was necessary to eating meat, then the difference between, like, surviving the winter or not, and that's what, back when people didn't know if they'd be able to eat again for, like, six days, but now we have greenhouses and grocery stores, we drive cars, so there's absolutely no reason to eat animals, and torture them because they do suffer and it's a terrible thing like why veganism is the i'm pretty sure i and eve were in the garden of eden they were vegan because i mean there were a lot of fruit trees um they don't talk about many animals just snake and, and it's all a metaphor anyway so Thing, eating live foods, it's, um, yeah, eat live foods and, um, don't, uh, what I want to say about Christianity, so yeah, it seems to be the most, um, well, monotheism of the three religions, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, I think, are kind of plagues on humanity, because it, uh, it blinds your vision, or it stumps your brain, it keeps people thinking in a certain way, and uh, now polytheism is my type of stuff. Um, so, please, Christians, start actually following what Jesus went done, because I'm sure if you actually ask yourself, what would Jesus do, he'd uh, try to get to understand each other and cooperate. Uh, uh, be um, kindness towards others. That was his message. Like this one old guy said, "No, the message wasn't about being nice. It was about worship me. I'm Jesus." And that, of course, is crazy. Uh, stupid old people. Um, So remember, there's probably infinite interpretations and perspectives on everything. And I'm going to link you to a guy called Genetically Modified Skeptic. He has a bunch of great stuff on the Bible. Um, so long. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like or like if you like this. And goodbye.